Hi, I'm recording this on my phone instead of the other ways of recording so that you could see the setup. So it'll look a little odd, but uh, please bear with me. I want to show you a new setup I have, and I think, you know, it might be helpful for others. So I have my laptop, and I have a, a second monitor set up, and I would extend my uh, display from that uh, screen to this so I would have you know my zoom on one and material I'm I'm uh, presenting and then I would have my notes and and the rest of the material that I might bring over into my uh, presentation of my lessons and then I would keep my iPad around for um, uh, if I had to quickly send an email to some you know to the parent or text the parent during a lesson or things like that that would come up. Uh, so I've always wanted to be able to write on my uh, presentation as I'm presenting. So for instance, if I am screen sharing here, get this out of the way. Uh, if I want to write on this, even if this is a touch screen, I would find it difficult because as soon as I would touch it, it would move and it would be difficult to write on. So I uh, got a drawing tablet and it is the, uh, it was on Amazon. Let's see if you can see it here, the X, XP pen drawing tablet. And it was, it's $40. And I think I had a lightning deal once, so it was a little bit less. And, but it doesn't display anything. So you would, connect this as like an extra mouse and um, write on it looking at the screen. So you would have to look at your screen and uh, see where your marks are going. So um, I, it worked and it was okay, but I could never write straight. I would always find it going up at a different angle than what I anticipated. So I tried to get my iPad to connect to it early on, and I um, tried using the Duet software, and I couldn't get it to work. Uh, and I know that if you've got a Mac to an iPad, you can use the sidecar, and that works pretty well. But on the Windows, I couldn't get it to work. Anyway, I uh, learned that the reason is, is that my laptop does not support video out through um, the USB ports. So the USB ports can be used for input and they can be used for charging, but they're no good for video out. So that was something with my computer. So uh, the um, Duet uh, app, which you download to your computer and download to the iPad, was $20 and well, it didn't work for me. But um, so then what I thought I'd try is the uh, Duet Pro, which is another, it's a $20 a year and, um, and that worked and it is so incredible. So for the total of $40, which is what the other, I, the other drawing tablet would cost, I have the iPad, I have the iPad, mm -hmm. I have a Duet software that allows me to connect. So let me just show you here. So I'm going to hit my duet here. And right now, it thinks it's another monitor. So I can do, I can actually use this as a third monitor, which would be nice. So if I want to, for instance, bring this down here, so it just acts like extending the monitor. I can, do you see how I can just uh, move things around? So this can be a third monitor which is nice, but this is what's really cool. Okay, watch this. So if I, oh, I didn't mean to do that. If, if I go into my uh, settings, display, system, and then display, rather than show it as a, a third monitor here, yeah, what I can do is come down here to multiple displays and say, I'm going to duplicate one and three. Okay, 
Okay, so watch this. You can see it's thinking over here for a second. Okay, keep these changes. There. So whatever is on my main number one is also on number three. There. So why is that useful? Okay, so let's say I'm screen sharing. And I'm going to screen share and I've got my cards up here. Right? I can now use my zoom annotate or one of the uh, Chrome annotation or Epic Pen or one of the other ones if you're on Google Meet. I can use that and ta-da, watch this. I can write on this. And I can write here and have it appear in my screen share to my student. So I can write on the iPad using my pen or you know just any stylus here and have it appear in my screen share. So I can do that. I can um, this. I can come up. Uh, sorry. I can come up to, let's say I'm in a document here, and I want to annotate right on top of this document. I can do this. And right here, it's like, okay, let's look at this word here. Over here, I can rewrite it. Whatever, uh, mark it up, syllabicate it. But I can use my handwriting on my iPad to reflect in my screen share there. So whether um, I'm using the annotate or using the red ink or the annotate this or Epic Pen, um, Chrome uh, extensions, I can now use this as an input device to, uh, to show on my uh, screen share. So, um, and I don't know whether this is an issue with other computers, but my HP here did not allow the video out by spending that extra $20 for the Pro account. I am able, let me stop here. I'm able to have a, not only an, ex, an extra monitor here, but it's an extra input. So I can have this as a touch screen input to my, to my meets and my, my Zoom sessions. So um, I hope that's helpful. So that cost a total of $40. I know there are other ones. Uh, I had uh, use, I had chosen Duet because at the time it seemed like that was, uh, had the best reviews, but I know there's, um, uh, a reflector, screen reflector, and a couple of the others, mirror this or some, there's a couple, if you look up screen mirroring apps, you will see that there's a couple of them, but I, I chose the Duet, but I'm really happy with this that I get to now use my iPad as an input device. So hope that helps some of you.